All right. So we're here today with uh, Marie Scuderi and uh, with the Love and Light, Boundless Love and Light Wellness Center in Hillsborough, New Jersey. And uh, Marie, you, you're doing some great work up there. You've got some amazing technology. Tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us a little bit about your wellness center that you've got operating there. Okay. Um, I, most of my career, I was a psychotherapist. I owned a counseling agency. I retired in June of 2021. And then I, no, I retired really like in August of 2021. And then in June of 2022, I learned about the energy enhancement system, which Jason Sherpa spoke about. So I learned about the EE system is, is what they call it. And I just felt led to come out of retirement. Um, which was crazy because nothing was going to get me out of retirement. I waited years to retire, <laughs> but I came out of retirement and um, I opened up a healing center with the EE system. And my intention was to be a part of this movement because I feel like, you know, the truthers are creating this movement to help people heal in a more, in a healthier way, let's say, and to maybe even mm -hmm. in a more profound way with these type of quantum technologies that are coming out. And so I opened an EE system center September 19th of 2022. And, and then I called you actually, uh, because I wanted something for my hair loss and I, you sell the Terra wand. So I called you for the Terra wand and I was talking about my EE system center and I was explaining how I was disappointed because it wasn't helping my members that were struggling with cancer enough. And I want I needed to see more results. And in fact, a few of them had passed away. And that had been on my heart for a while before I called you. So when I told you that, you immediately said, Well, you need this plasma med bed. And you started talking to me about it. And immediately I knew my spirit was telling me that this wasn't an accident, that I called you, because I could have called anybody for the terror wand, right? But it wasn't an accident that I called you, and it wasn't an accident that you shared with me about this plasma med bed technology. I ordered it right away, if you remember. I ordered it before I even did my due diligence. And but after mm -hmm. I ordered it, I did call some centers. Um, you know, there are some centers in the United States that just have the plasma med bed and and other technologies, not necessarily the EE system. And I said, listen, um, I just ordered this but can you tell me what kind of results you're getting with members that have the C word? Um, I was told I shouldn't use that word a lot. So they explained to me, there was a man who was, the one, one gentleman had seen success with a man who had pancreatic, and, um, it's hard not to say the word C, but um, pan, actually the man recovered from pancreatic cancer, which you know everybody knows that that doesn't happen. And then there was mm -hmm. another man with a rare brain cancer that a woman shared with me about. There was another man who had it, had come down with it twice and he did the chemo and the radiation twice and it came back a third time. And they wanted to do the chemo and the radiation again. And he said, I'm not crazy, I'm not doing this again. And he bought it. And as of the time that I'd spoke to him, he had been free, you know, completely healthy with regards to that disease um, for 18 months. So I didn't need to hear any more. Uh, then I started researching and looking at videos, and I found the one video of Antoine Priori methodology, mm -hmm. um, and I watched that. And, and the whole thing, really, so often they spoke about how this was helpful for people that were struggling with this illness, with the C word. And um, that was really, really exciting for me to hear. So in the meantime, I was doing my research and learning about it while I was waiting for it to come in. They probably had it about two and a half months. And um, most of our people that use the EE system, they also use the plasma med bed. And what, what we've learned from Dan, uh, Dan Winter, the inventor, was that if a person gets on the plasma med bed and they're already in a calm state or a relaxed state, then they're going to mm -hmm. get more out of the plasma med bed treatment. So yeah. we have our members like, use the EE system for an hour. And then once they're in that, you know, more meditative, relaxed state, we put them on the um, plasma med bed technology. And mm -hmm. we've been doing that for about two and a half months. And um, 
we're getting, we're seeing some results and it's, it's exciting. It's very exciting to be a part of. So um, I would like to see, uh, you know, centers with this all over the world is, is my hope. You know, because I feel like this technology, although it's, Although it's also it's also scalar wave, it's also and you could speak more to this, so I won't get into that too much. But although it's scalar wave, my understanding from the inventor is it's a broader spectrum than what the EE system mm -hmm. offers. So mm -hmm. even though the EE system is great for the entire body, this is a my understanding is like a more qual higher quality or more concentrated scalar energy as well as the plasma light, the noble black gases, and so we can actually target. A, a person's particular organ. So one gentleman that hopefully we'll talk about a little bit or we'll show his video, he had prostate cancer. So we targeted it, the prostate directly on his prostate area. And we did this uh, initially, it was like um, a half hour twice a day. And very quickly, we moved that to an hour twice a day. Yeah, an hour, an hour a day, then an hour twice a day. He stayed with us for a total of nine days. And um, we just saw amazing results. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to show that video at any time, you know, that will show the actual proof of the results that he got. Shows his blood work. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can go into the screen share and see if I can pull that up. You did send me a video. I have that one ready to go. Is that the one you sent me? Uh, the one I just sent you this morning while we were on the gym. Yeah. The, that, that's Jerry's. Yeah. That's Jerry's son. Um, this is okay, a friend perfect. of Mel Carmine who came to stay at our center for uh, a total of nine days. He flew in from mm -hmm. Florida uh, because he, you know, we felt like with cancer also, there needs to be a very concentrated, like you can't just do it once or twice or even twice a week. You need to really like be, I'm going to say live in it, live in this higher spiritual energy, this higher frequency. Mm-hmm. So, Marie, just real quick, I do want to just throw a disclaimer out there since we're getting into a, some, you know, some subjects that are a little bit touchy, is that um, we're absolutely not making any claims at all that this technology will um, treat or cure any type of disease. Um, it is not classified as medical equipment. So, um, uh, so just to be clear on that, and individual results vary. So, you know, do your due diligence, do what Marie did and study the history, study the technology, understand what it is that you're that you're using when you're using it to get a better idea. And we can get into some more, um, you know, we can get into a little bit more detailed information as we go. Um, you did talk about the EE system. Uh, that's a technology, like you said, that's also a phase conjugation based technology, and it's using lasers to do that. And I do think that you bring up a good point is that there's a lot of synergy between having that system and then also having a plasma med bed. I mean, in in my world as sort of a, I guess, a consultant, if you will, um, the more layers of technology that you can offer people, usually the better, you know, because every technology works a little different. Every technology is going to do something a little differently, but in a culmination of various technologies, the more of those that you integrate into the overall process, usually the better outcome is for the people that are visiting the center. So um, with that being said, you know, these are all, uh, well, both those systems are using scalar energy. And like you said, there is a, some, some differences that we can touch on later, but uh, let me get into the screen share here real quick and see if I can pull up that video and we'll take a quick look at that. And to your point about, you know, the technology is not doing the healing, what I tell our members is that's, that, um, that's, that's not Jerry's video, but, but that's not This Jerry. is the last one I just grabbed, but I can go back to my email real quick and yes. see if I can find. It's the one I sent you like 10 minutes before we. This one right here is marked as Jerry's video. So, let me so pull there that up. you go. That's the one we want. And what I was saying before you before you pull that up is we tell our members, no, the technology is not healing you, but it's providing you with the food and the energy uh, for your cells. Like it's charging your cells, if you will, and your your own cells are doing the healing. Your own body is doing the healing. It's just giving you the energy it needs. 
to do that. The that's food beautiful. Let me. Do that. Yeah. Uh, but that's thank you very much for bringing up that point. That's another big point. The technology itself isn't doing anything. It's just giving the body um, what the body needs to do, what the body can do. The body naturally wants to go into homeostasis. And, um, you know, if you're getting it, you know, sort of like watering a plant or, you know, putting miracle Grow in soil or whatever it might be, you give the nutrients in the body what it needs. The body is, is actually way more powerful. And I think a lot of times we give it credit for so, um, you know, so that, that's, that's actually a really good point. Now, are you seeing uh, the video here with Jerry? Yes. Yep. It's coming out. Okay. Very good. Yep. Okay. Good. So what I'm going to do is just turn up my volume just a little bit, cause I'm not sure, um, how good the, the audio will come out, but we're going to go ahead and, uh, let, uh, Jerry talk here about his experience. So let's go ahead and we'll and, go ahead and um, play this real quick. When, when you see that the, the blood work and the um, bio well scan, we could just stop and I can explain to people about what they're seeing when they see those test results in the middle of this, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jerry. Um, I live in Miami, Florida. And I came to the healing center for many problems that I have. I got here. I mean, maybe two or three sleepless nights prior to coming here. I mean, eight hours of just laying in bed and I'm sleeping. But I did get probably more, more time sleeping last night than I did for many nights. And I woke up feeling good, relaxed. So that was a good sign. here for the last seven days and the difference between when i got here and today is so uh, remarkable i feel more energized i feel like i'm accomplishing a lot on uh, the recovery and not only that but seeing the results of the scans that we're doing if you can so pause that just, later just be grateful yeah let me back that up just a sec so my, my partners um, at the center have a technology called the BioWell, and that will measure different things in the body. In this case, it's looking at the left and the right side of the body and the different organs. And if you look at the top, um, that should be, but let me just, yes. So the top of it is the before. And you can see where it is to the, to the left, it's marked, um, I think, rectum prostate. It's all the way out to the, the border of the, the darker yellow. And then the I other side that. of the prostate, it's, uh, it's just almost touching the border of the, the darker yellow. Then the, on the other side of the body, um, and I can't read this very well, but we'll just focus on the prostate. Uh, he saw improvement in other areas of the body as well, but he came in with prostate cancer. and. So on the other side of the body, it's, it's way in the yellow. And then if you go down to the lower part, that's after, he actually was there for eight days, not seven days, but he, the, the before video that he did was after one day in the center. So if you look at where the arrows are on there, actually now it went from the darker yellow to the green and the green, is where we want it to be in, in closer to the center, right? And then right. Um, on both sides of the left side of the body, it improved. And then on the right side of the body, again, you can see where it improved, the first arrow. Let me just get my dog. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, Marie, I got to share this story because we talked about this. Marie's dog, when she's in the living room area where she's filming, thinks that the dog's getting fed. And so that dog, even though we're doing a Zoom call, is looking to mama to get some treats. So you better just feed the dog her treats so she's happy, right, mom? Well, I did feed it, but then she left me and went into the other room and started barking. My, my girlfriend is in there right now. So, okay, okay. so that, you know, if people can can see that, that's that's be the before and after. So it's showing that he made progress in progress in the, in the prostate gland. It's also showing that he made progress in other areas. Um, I think that might've been his, I can't read it. It's a little too small. So I won't say, cause I don't want to make a mistake on that. 
So you can continue the rest of his uh, video and then we'll, it'll also show his blood work. Okay, perfect. Let me get to back to it here. So here's improvement in the gray hole. And those are the other areas, the cardiovascular and the blind gut. Okay, now if you can pause this, um, it, and what my my partners actually they're really good with this this type of technology. So they put it together. They show they're they're reading for you. They wrote for you what actually happened. Two weeks before he came to the center, he got his blood work for the PSA, which marks you know it measures the prostate and the, the cancer that's in the prostate. And with he was at forty point fifteen two weeks before he came in. And the very day he got home, he slept, the, you know, he got home late on a Thursday evening. On a Friday morning, he got up and he did the blood work and it went down to 14.9. So it went down significantly from him staying in the center for those eight days. Now, he's a friend of Mel Carmine and Mel is opening up a center in Melbourne, Florida in a couple of weeks. He actually is having yeah. the, the E system delivered and he will also have a plasma med bed. So Mel will be open, open probably in a few weeks. And his friend, this is, this is actually Mel's friend. He is actually going to be staying at Mel's place to finish this work. You know, let's get it down to zero. Um, and hopefully yep. you know, Mel will have some results for us once Jerry spent some time in his center with the EE and the plasma med bed. That's actually really exciting. And I, I remember when I was talking to you and Mel and, and you were talking about him coming up there and, you know, during the time he was up there, I didn't get a lot of, you know, feedback. I just knew he was there and, um, you know, and kind of knew, you know, obviously I know that Mel's getting his place set up, but the fact that you did such a great job documenting all this and it's not just him and his testimonial, but you're actually getting into actual uh, diagnosis. Well, analysis is probably a better word, but analysis is on where he was at when he started and then getting blood work and things done. So uh, there's a little bit more uh, data to review um, on the subject and on this particular person with this, this particular um, individual. So that's really great documentation. And obviously, uh, Marie, I can really see um, I can really see a change in his attitude. Um, you know, honestly, when he's doing that second one, I feel like just as you're getting ready to cut off, he's about ready to break down in tears because the amount of relief that he's feeling and the progress that he's seeing is, it's just taken a lot off his mind. And it's good to say that he's not out of the woods yet, because that's also important. Mm -hmm. Certainly there's been some things that have shown improvement, but as with anything, um, you know, there's still, there's still work that needs to be done and there's still, you know, um, improvement that needs to come about, but, you know, there's certainly been, uh, quite a substantial, uh, amount of improvement that's been done in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you brought that up. So thank you for that observation. When he came in, he was very depressed. He was walking slowly and his, his energy, even the, the even the before he was in the system for like 14 hours already, maybe 16 hours already. So he already had some improvement, but he was really very, very different. He had, he was much happier. His cognitive ability got better because at first yeah. and his hearing got a little better because I'd have to speak mm -hmm. really, really loud to him. And also he didn't seem like he was really getting what we were saying, but we saw his cognitive ability sharpen and we saw his overall energy level, of course, increase, definitely increased tremendously. And so thank you so much for, for pointing that out because I would have forgot to mention, you know, the actual visual results that people could see, you know? You, you can really feel his energy is a lot. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. His no, his energy, energy was definitely dramatically. Um, so should we keep going? Yeah. So I think that's the end of his video. I'm not sure. Let's see what else happens okay. on the video. That may be the end of the video. Oh, the, oh there we go. The <laughs>
Perfect. And uh, Marie, when we do the video also, I'm going to have your web address for Boundless Love and Light Wellness Center, Hillsboro, New Jersey. You know, I know you got people coming in from all over. I know last night I spoke to a woman, um, I think in Arizona or somewhere, she's going to want to come out and see you. I've talked to people in Connecticut that are on their way or have seen you. Um, and people from yes, all over the come. area are coming. Mm-hmm. Um, did you want to get back to the video or did you want me to share anything else? I think we've covered it. That's it on the video. Yes, that's it on the video. Okay. So what we're finding is, first of all, you know, for people who have healing centers, whether it's an EE system or just a yoga studio or whatever of healing centers, you know, this is like, I think a top notch, you know, according to Dan, the inventor, the inventor, this is the best we're going to get. This is the best we have at this point before the med beds. Yeah. It's not the yeah. med, med bed. Let's be very clear. This is not the med bed, but it does use some of the technology that's in the med bed. So that's why, you know, it's being okay. called plasma med bed. Um, but for people who want to purchase it, there is a link below. Uh, plasmamedbed.com, I believe, is the link to that. You can just go there and let us know. The cost of it is about 29000 with the coupon that we'll, we'll show below as well. I believe the coupon is MSM 1776. But for those who can't afford to purchase it, um, then you know what I recommend if you have a serious illness is find a place that's, if there's not a place near you, then there are, you know, Mel will have it <clears throat> in his EE system. I have it. There's a gentleman in Alabama that has it, that has the EE system. You wanna concentrate and spend a week. Like you want to spend as much time as you can if you're very ill. So what we're doing is we're offering like retreat type of, of uh, situations for people where we're making the, the price reasonable for them and they can come and they could stay a week. They could stay at a hotel in the evening if they like. They can sleep in our center if there's nobody booked that particular night and they could just immerse themselves in both technologies. And that's, yeah. that's what Jerry did. So what people do need to understand is like, if you're using the EE system or if you're using the plasma med bed, you, you can't expect to do it once or twice a week if you're very sick, or even if you have a chronic illness and you're not very sick, like something like fibromyalgia, you know, it's chronic. Um, people have insomnia for like 30 years. You're not gonna necessarily get over that in you know 10 hours of using these technologies. So people just need to understand that they're making a commitment to their health kind of like when you take out a gym membership, you go a couple of times a week, right? So that's what the point that I want to bring home to people because I don't want to give them false expectations of the progress that their body can make. And, and I love what you said earlier, the body, we, we're not aware how our body can heal itself. Just if mm -hmm. we have the right frequency, if we have the right energy, our bodies know exactly what to do to go to work and they know where to go to do the work. So yeah. um, that's what I would share about that. That's perfect. So, you know, Marie, the other thing I was going to say is that, like I was saying before, is that it's a culmination uh, of layers of things. And we, we did that call um, with Dan. I actually did a call with Dan and, you know, when you're getting into these technologies and you're using them, um, your mental status, your mental health is also playing a part in this. Mm. If you're holding on to a lot of tension and a lot of stress, it does, it, Dan had basically said that what they've seen is that it can limit the, the, um, the, the outcomes that you're going to get. Right. Mm. And so for, for people that are in, uh, you know, like yourself, not, you know, this is again, why I love what you're doing is you're integrating multiple technologies because before somebody goes into the plasma med bed, you're letting them kind of get into the EE system and kind of just relax and get their mind right and really try to um, disengage a little bit from the third dimensional bodily issues that are going on because holding on to a lot of that stress and anxiety when you're using any of the technologies is going to have a limit on it. Um, I know that um, I've talked to many doctors, you know, on this YouTube channel that we've got. And uh, there's one named Dr. Mike Van Thielen, who holds literally five, six, maybe seven different degrees. And he always describes that you've got trillions of cells in your body. And every one of those cells is literally performing thousands of functions. And every one of those little cells 
is sending signals to you saying, hey, here's what I need right now to perform my function. So when you think about that, you're, you know, you're basically all these little cells that are complex little mechanisms performing all these functions are sending signals to the brain and you as an individual are basically then eating and drinking, you know, hopefully nutritional things in your diet because that nutrition is what the cells need to do their job. So, you know, the the nutrition plays a part in this, um, getting good rest, staying very hydrated, you know, when you're using a lot of technology, staying hydrated. And then, you know, there's just, uh, there's other things that come into play in addition to the technology to give the body what the body needs so the body can do what the body can do. And so I think that, you know, for me, Marie, as I've been doing this longer, I'm really understanding how important really good high density nutrition is and how that needs to be a focus. And, you know, there's certain things that probably are not good for the body, but if you understand that, all these little cells, the trillion of them, or trillions, I should say, are all um, asking you to put in your body what your body needs to be as healthy as possible. Take a look at that, do your own self-analysis and look at yourself, look at your diet and see what it is that you're doing right that you can build upon and what you're doing that might not be as good for you that you could start cutting back on. Because ultimately, anybody that just wants to come into these you know, facilities and just you know, have a very lackadaisical attitude about I'll do what I want, whatever I want. And, you know, this thing's going to come in and, you know, basically patch up all the misgivings and all the misdoings that I'm doing with my body. That's not a very good attitude. So I think that, you know, if you want to give yourself the best possible chance to getting the best possible outcome, look at those things, figure out what you can do to get into your diet, to give your body what it needs so that it gets itself, you know, the optimal nutrition to work with hand in hand with the technology that you're using. And so, um, you know, that would just be another thing that I would say. Um, now, you know, as far as addressing the technology, I mean, I guess we, have you know, we've touched upon that a little bit, but there is some things that go into this plasma med bed that are very esoteric and they go beyond third dimensional uh, bodily things. Now, the third dimensional bodily things are phenomenal. There's no question that there's some really nice things that are happening. But Marie, I think the one thing that anybody watching this video should really take a note, and you touched upon it, and I love your analogy, which is going to the gym. So when you're going to the gym, why are you going to the gym? You're going to the gym technically to maintain good health, that's not saying there's not people that blew out a knee that are doing rehab, but this technology should also be thought of 100% also on maintaining good health and keeping yourself positively charged and giving yourself as much energy because there's certainly times when the body's breaking down, there's things going on. I get that. A lot of people obviously come to this technology because they say, hey, you know, something's breaking down and I'm in the SOS mode. But the goal is to avoid that. The goal is to maintain good health, stay healthy, and use these types of technologies to maintain that good health and slow down the aging process as much as possible. Now, the beauty about this technology, and we just touched upon it with Dan, and you touched upon it earlier, actually made a great point when you talk about Prior um, or Priori. Um, Dan is the very first person that's going to tell you that this is third generation technology, meaning this work is coming from Nikola Tesla. This work is coming from Royal Raymond Wright. This work is coming from Georges Lakovsky. And these are early pioneers that started working with plasma energy, that started working with energy, working with frequencies. And honestly, if you really want to know what the what the what this technology is all about, do the research on what these people were doing a hundred years ago, actually in some case, over 100 years ago, look at the results that they were getting over 100 years ago. And then and then you get guys like Prior that's literally dropping plasma tubes into a laboratory with cranes because the guy was just so over the top. So Priori comes in and takes the work Lukowski, Tesla and says, this stuff's great. I'm going to push the limit. He's actually working for the French government. Thousands of documented cases from Priori with this technology. Wow. So this is like, oh, this just right. And so, but whenever anybody talks to me about what can it do, what does it do? 
I'm not making any claims. Like I said earlier, this is not about us saying that this is going to do this or do that. This is basically explaining what is the technology, how it works, and you go do your own homework and see how the development of this technology came along and see the results that these people were getting with the technology when they were using it, because it's not our responsibility to come out and basically start making claims or, you know, saying that, you know, these things are, you know, it's just anybody that's out there watching this, this is not the time and place for people that are, that are, you know, like you, Marie, that are out there trying to help people to have to, you know, be the person that handholds everybody and spoon feeds everybody all the information. If you're serious and you really want it, we're going to give you general information. But if you really want to know the case studies and the history and the documentation, Google is a great tool. 15 minutes on Google, you're going to see when you type in Priori, Raymond Rife, Royal Raymond Rife, um, the, do- the information's out there. So I would just say, you know, as, as a, as a um, benefit for you, Marie, you can take calls and help people, but you shouldn't have to be the person that spends 30 to 45 minutes on the phone with somebody. Let, let everybody here, you know, kind of do their own due diligence, but it's good that you're, that you understand the technology, you're using the technology and, you know, and we're giving, we're giving people the ability to do it. Now there's a couple of things about the plasma med bed that I think are amazing. And this also ties into, I mean, it gets into med bed type technology, but number one, the dual plasma technology, which is what this plasma med bed is, is using, is inscribed in hieroglyphics in the pyramids. So this dual two technology obviously is not, it's new to us and we've rediscovered it, but this technology is inscribed in hieroglyphics and pyramids and, and Egyptian carvings that are thousands of years old. And I don't want to dig too far into this, but I'm just going to say, if you do the research on it, it'll talk about the Anunnaki, who were very highly intelligent uh, civilizations of people that came basically from off planet. But this is off planet technology. So it's not like and I'm, I'm not I'm not here to cater anybody's belief system. I, uh, I God bless everybody out there watching this. I'm just saying this is what you're going to find if you dig in and do the research. And there's enough information there where it's going to be collaborated hundreds, if not thousands of times from multiple different places. So this dual tube technology was used basically the Anunnaki when they were down here building 100,000 ton stone carvings that basically we can't even replicate now. Um, they were, they, their, their bodies were deteriorating fast in the earth's atmosphere. So these were, these were basically systems that they were developing that were helping them with rejuvenation because the atmosphere here was not as conducive to their bodies as it was from the places that they that they came from. So that's that's one thing that I find extremely interesting. And that's, you know, if you look at the plasma med bed um, documentation on the plasmamedbed.com, those carvings are actually there. And from a physics standpoint, it's actually it's actually very interesting. But Dan will explain it quite well. Phase conjugation. So let's look at the technology with Mr. Reif. Mr. Reif, um, I mean, I just love that guy. I really do. I love Mr. Reif, Mr. Lakowski, Mr. Tesla. Um, these guys were like, they were brilliant people. And I could go and do a whole video on just Reif himself, but worked for uh, Zeiss Microscopes, developed a microscope with over 5,000 pieces that did 60,000 time magnification. And back in the 20s, he's basically looking at live organisms and live cells under a microscope, which we technically did not even get to until about five years ago. We were doing the electron microscope that was looking at ash, basically, because everything that that thing looked at had to be dead. But right back in the 20s has a microscope. He can look underneath that microscope, run frequencies through these cells and figure out what frequency those cells basically were running at and figure out what, you know, was optimizing them or basically eliminating them. And nowadays you can get on these um, websites and there's a lot of single tube technology. Some of it's plasma, right? I believe was used in radio frequency, but the single tube technology, which is very popular, the third, the third generation scientists like Dan and Paul, they looked at that and said, wow, you know what, if we took that single tube and we took it and, basically created two tubes and male, female, and each tube sort of had a vortex going into the middle and they imploded. And that person was in what we would call a zero point. 
um, we could actually create the system where they're in the tube, which is really what the concept of a dual tube system is. It's really bringing the person into the tube. And that is the, that is the, you know, the, the, the next step up from the technology with these third, third generation scientists. So the thing that's interesting about that whole thing is when you're using phase conjugation physics and you're doing that, when you're doing it with plasma, the plasma energy starts becoming recursive, right? Because you're creating this plasma energy field by doing that. And that plasma energy field becoming recursive is it's basically tapping into the frequency your DNA runs on. And therefore, it's becoming a mindful and intelligent energy field. So if you want to get into physics and you want to start talking about stuff that's pretty far out there, try wrapping your head around the fact that you're in a mindful and intelligent energy field. And now for you to really take it to the next level, you need to have intention. And intention also is a plasma energy. Your intention and in putting your focus is nothing less than sending a plasma energy field, a tornado. And so when you're working in an energy field that's mindful, intelligent, that you can see was used thousands of years ago by quote unquote off planet civilizations and you realize that your part of your uh, concept of using it is to be mindful on what you're actually there for and what you're trying to achieve for an outcome, you're dealing with a very sophisticated energy system. And this is one thing I'm just going to say, and I'm going to throw it back to you. Anybody that's on this call that thinks that this technology is all about your body and your third dimensional reality, it has that is just where this stuff touches the surface. Where this stuff really gets exciting is that using these energy fields is also something that's going to help you with things like lucid dreaming, intuition. Um, it's helping you raise your overall frequency when, you, when you're using it very much like the multi-wave oscillators. The multi-wave oscillators were also sending electrical current into your body, right? So when you're, when you're in your 30s, your body's running at about, um, we'll say 100 millivolts of electrical energy. And when you're 70, your body's running at about 35 millivolts of electrical energy. Your cells are really nothing more than little batteries. So in addition to whatever's happening with the frequencies and everything else, it's literally putting a charge back in your body and also helping your electrical energy field, which everything in us is running on electrical energy. But as it's doing that, you're also raising your frequency. So now intuition, um, manifestation, um, lucid dreaming, which is separating your plasma energy body, your conscious body out of your physical body, which is theoretically what is actually happening at the time of death. And then getting into things, um, you know, like all these different types of things with, uh, tapping into a higher frequency. So now collective consciousness and tying into the collective consciousness and getting into things like Akashic records and getting yourself into a place where, you're really lifting your spiritual body and getting into uh, different types of abilities that are all part of who we are and what we can do. But we're just always in such a low energy field that we've kind of, you know, been washed out of that. So uh, when you're getting into this type of technology and you're using it, you have to understand that, you know, if you're coming to do uh, maintenance and maintaining good health, that's great. If something in your health has gone sideways, God bless you. We're praying for you, you know, utilize and look at as many different options, as many different technologies. But when you look at the long-term uh, benefits of using the technology and what it can do for you on sort of a spiritual level, I think that's where it really gets exciting. And uh, that's where it really, you know, gets pretty far out there. So, all right, we need to see the dog, Marie. Well, Don't I, you mean, hide her. I mean, the only way she's going to stop barking is if she, my there girl, she is. Oh, I have, mama. I have 24 units of the E system in my, in my family room and my girlfriend's cat is sick. So she came here with her cat. So my dog wants to spend time with the cat because she loves cats. So I think that's why she's barking, but hopefully if she's in my lap, she will chill. Yeah. Um, well, Sean, you, you but, know, um, go ahead. Did you, I, I know, I know you had to run off to grab her, but did you catch what I was saying before about, you know, helping with lucid dreaming, helping with yes, yes, increasing yes, manifestation, your frequency yeah. and, um, and, and, and basically, yeah. And, and, you know, basically getting to a place where you can, 
start hearing more of the inner voice and tapping into Akashic records, your ideas, you know, all these different things start, you know, improving or manifesting as you're using this technology over a longer scale period of time. What I wanted to share to that point was, you know, I say to people, you know, you're, you're living in a higher frequency energy when you're in our center. And so we're living in a third dimensional world and what's going on in the third dimensional world. Well, a lot of un not so good things, right? You're in a bad relationship, your boss is, you know, you're not eating healthy, you're, you know, there's, there's all these negative emotions that are, you know, in our energy field. But when you go into the EE system and or the plasma med bed, you're in a higher frequency. So what we find is that people are going into a deeper meditative state. Like I've done my devotions, I study St. Germain, and we say decrees for the world. And when I'm in the energy, this energy field, I can, I can concentrate more. I can go much deeper spiritually, but we found that people that go into our center, they're experiencing the same thing. If they go and meditate in the room, they're going deeper. We even do like a sound bowl mm -hmm. healing once a month. We have a sound bowl healing. So, you know, in that energy field, which I is love really sound amazing. Bowls. I love sound bowls. Yeah. yeah those so, things are awesome. So I think that, you know, this kind of speaks to what you were sharing, you know, about the um, the lucid dreaming and all that stuff. I know it's a little different, but nonetheless, you're you're going into a higher spiritual field. So, of course, yeah. you know, these things. You're can tapping into more happen. your potential. Yes. Right. You're tapping into your inner self, more of your inner self, more of your spirit. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, I did want to speak a little bit more, you know, about the type of results that we're seeing from, you know, the plasma med bed. As I said, people yeah. are using both technologies. I've been bringing my mother there twice a week um, lately. I used to take her twice a week for the E system, but now I'm bringing her back so she can use the plasma med bed as well. She has uh, macular degeneration. Well, she's recovering. I'm going to say she's recovering from macular degeneration. It's not leaking anymore. It's wet macular degeneration in the eyes. It's not leaking anymore. But her eyes were getting blurry. Her vision was blurry. It was getting hard to read. So after about eight sessions <clears throat> at the center, including the plasma med bed, um, her blurriness cleared up about 30% which my mother is 94 years old, so that's pretty good. And then she also has bursitis in her hip. And the pain is just about gone from the bursitis in her hip, arthritis in her back. Pain is much better for the arthritis in her back. We had a woman who dropped a shower head on her foot. So we, now you mentioned the, the dual light bulbs, the dual bulbs, but what people aren't seeing is that there are two plasma bulbs that are facing each other and your body is in between those two plasma light bulbs. They also have the noble gas right. and the scatter creating that central pedal force that you talked about. For the, so that energy is happening wherever your body is in that field. So, if, so in this case, for my mom, we focused it particularly on her hips and that got the back as well. For this mm -hmm. one woman, she dropped a shower head on her foot and she was in incredible pain with swelling. And within a half hour of using the plasma med bed, concentrated just on her foot, she was pain free. So that's the type of things that, that we're seeing. Um, you know, there's others as well, but but the, the you get the point. You get the point that there's yeah. power in yeah. this energy field that your body can now use that energy field and charge the cells of your body to start to heal themselves. No matter, yeah. and no matter what you're struggling with, you brought up a point that we want to make sure that our minds are in the right. You brought up the intention. We want to make sure our minds are in the right frame of mind. And yes, the EE system will help you get there. But when I'm on the plasma med bed table, I'm saying my intention, you know? Yeah. So that's when we, we even have an intention bowl in our center. So that is an important piece for people to remember as well. Mm hmm yeah, and I know that, you know, the beauty about having a wellness center is that you get to see a lot of um, before and afters firsthand. And I'm sure with the number of people going through, it's hard to talk about every single one. But another one, when you were just talking about that came to mind is that little boy who was um, uh, was having a limited growth or was, his growth was slow. And then he started using it. Can you touch upon that? Because sure, that sure. was another story. So this was actually... Um a man who had his, his son was 13 years old 
and he he was born with some kind of DNA disease. I don't. It's very rare. And so, and I've seen this. There's actually a TV show uh, on, I think it was on Lifetime, that showed a woman, 23 years old, and she everybody thought she was seven years old because of the size of her body and her weight. So this this young boy had this disease. I don't know what it's called. And he hadn't grown in a long time for like an entire year. For certain, he hadn't grown. So he had, he, it was more than that. He hadn't grown. But what the, his father shared with us was the last time they had gone to the doctor before coming to our center, he was at a certain height. And, and he had been at that height for a long time and that weight for a long time. And he started sleeping at our center. Now, this is just the EE system. We didn't have the plasma med bed at the time. Started sleeping at the center almost every Wednesday night from February through, I think we, he gave us his testimony, he gave us a video testimony in the beginning of June or the middle of June. So from February to let's say the middle of June, he slept there every Wednesday night. Again, he was committed to coming and spending many hours in the technology energy field. And the boy who also not only not only his, his growth was stunted, he was like, looked like a seven-year-old in a 13-year-old body, but he was very, very fatigued. He could sleep for hours and hours. He would get up at 12 o'clock and, and at noon and he'd still be very tired. And so after those months of being at the center, he grew four inches, which is incredible. I mean, that's not just a little mm -hmm. bit. He grew four inches and gained 10 pounds. Of course, the doctors were amazed. And then, but he also was getting up early in the morning, like nine o'clock in the morning and feeling good and feeling energized. So when, when we got that video testimony, I'm not usually there in the evening. So I met this man and I met the boy, but then I didn't see any progress, you know, until we did this video testimony and we were all crying. I mean, it was just, I mean, yeah, this, this the energy field that this technology created, the EE system technology created created a miracle for that boy, you know, yeah. his body healed itself. And that to me was a huge miraculous healing. You know, we have other people um, whose cancerous tumors have shrunk, you know, particularly using both technologies. And that's just not heard of unless you're doing other things and they weren't doing the chemotherapy and the radiation and the immune, immune suppressant drugs. And they weren't doing all that. They were just doing the EE system and the, the plasma yeah. towards the end of the plasma. So, you know, Marie, Marie, here's, here's what I love about you. Here's what I love about your business partners. Um, just a couple things real quick. Now there's a lot of, there's a lot of talk about free government med beds, right? Free government yeah. med beds. These are not free government med beds. The government did not give you all your technology and give you your center and say, Hey, this is all free. This is not, people sitting around on the side of the fence, on the side of the road saying, I'm not going to do anything until I get my free money from Nasara Jasara, which yeah. God bless anybody that has that thought. But if you're sitting around and you're not getting into the game right now, I don't care if you got 500 bucks, $5,000. If you're sitting around thinking that you're not going to do anything until you get your free welfare money from the government, which God bless everybody, but I'm not, I'm not that guy. You're not that person. We're not people sitting around waiting for a free ride before we jump in and are going to start helping people. And for people out there like you, Marie, that are out there getting a center, making payroll, paying for insurance, buying the technology, what is it like for you? I always tell people, you know, cause you're only doing it for one reason. This is, you know, technically you want to get your bills paid. Certainly everybody out there wants to make money. You need to make money because the goal is, is to open up another center, but that doesn't mean that there's still not circumstances where you're stepping into help low income people. You're not still yeah. doing something. If they need to do it, you guys do a lot of that. Everybody that has a center is doing that. And so for all those people out there that took that money that they had and went out and spent it, that opened up a center, that took the risk of saying, look, I want to help people. I always tell people there's going to be, a. It's that's a lot of stuff that you're taking on, a lot of expense, a lot of stuff that you're doing. But I want to know from you, what does it feel like 
when you see a guy like the gentleman we saw and you see that little kid and you see the before and after, what is the feeling that that gives you knowing that if you didn't step up, those people would not have been helped? What does that feel like? You know, I did a podcast yesterday with Mal and I said, like, even as a child, like the only thing that really made me happy was helping people like truly. And I think, you know, that's the God in us, right? You know, I'm not going to take credit for that, but that's the only thing that really makes me happy is when if I'm helping people, I'm happy. When I see these results, when I saw that the two members with cancer's tumor shrunk in half and that one woman was able to now have it like removed because it had shrunk, you can't help but cry. I mean, you can't help. Yeah. We had a man who was battling he had a bad accident. And after the accident, he was just attacked. His mind completely lost his mind. He lost his family. He lost his friends because his mind had completely gone. And this man didn't even spend many hours in our center. And the miracle that happened for this man, it was like this huge negative energy field completely left his body and lifted from him. You can't make this stuff up. I didn't have to come out of retirement. I had a very successful counseling agency for 31 years. I retired at the age of 62. 62. Yes, I retired at the age of 62, but I didn't need to come out of retirement. But that part of me that always wants to help came out of retirement. And, and I don't regret it. I, the thing I love the most about my healing center is just connecting with the people. And seeing not even connecting with them and knowing that they're there and they're going to get some help, you know, not even always hearing about the results. So, yes, this is not the real med bed. And this is, you know, we can't offer it for nothing, but we do help people that are really struggling. We're not going to turn people away, you know. So Mm -hmm. I know that when we did a podcast with uh, I did a podcast, I think, with our connoisseurs with regards to the plasma and medbin, a lot of people were commenting that it should have been free. Well, they, this wasn't given to us. You know, the plasma and medbin wasn't given to yeah. us. The E system wasn't given to us. Um, so the plasma med, the, the real med beds are going to be given and it's all going to be funded. So yes, then it's going to be free because the government is actually paying for the employees and paying for the, you know, supplying the technology. Um, but nonetheless, you know, it's a it's a very rewarding feeling to know that you're helping people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it's just you know, it's when people take un- undertake what you're doing, and I, you know, it's actually funny now because I've gotten to know you pretty well, and you're as busy now, if not busier, than you were when you were working. Yes, and I mean, he's busier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you are. And, and then you're so passionate and you love what you do so much. And I can feel like the excitement and I can feel the joy that this brings you. And, um, and, you know, the thing is, is that I know that there's a lot of really good things that are happening there. I know there's a lot of people that are getting real benefit. Um, and I know that you wear your heart on your sleeve and that there's nothing you wouldn't do for anybody, you know, when, when you, when you have those types of things. So um, I, I wanted to bring that up because You know, this is, like I said, when you're getting into plasma energy technology, when you're getting into um, intelligent conscious energy fields or intelligent, mindful, intelligent energy fields, is this a med bed? No. Is it med bed technology? Yes, it absolutely fits in that category. There's actually a company that I work with out of Texas that does make a med bed pod system. And what they figured out, much like I know being in the medical industry, dealing with hyperbaric chambers and a lot of other big equipment is that that pod and what the pod was doing um, was number one, adding $25,000 on the price. So this thing was, you know, about 80 grand, $5,000 in shipping. These things do not fit, you know, hyperbaric. If you're getting that in and out of a hospital, you're literally tearing walls out of a hospital. Homes, offices are not meant to hold the technology, but why not strip the technology out of there without the pod, without all the fancy looks and everything else? And just take the core technology and get it out there so that anybody can basically set it up on a massage table 
or, you know, like with you with the EE system or the plasma med bed, you can put it in an office building and people can get access to the technology. So, um, you know, so thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for all the people out there with wellness centers. I, you know, there's so many people out there that deserve credit, but they're taking it upon themselves. They're not sitting around waiting for the free, the free stuff to come out. Um, they're, they're putting out their own money, they're buying technology and they're doing it right now because, you know, they, they have it in their hearts that they want to start helping people. And there's hopefully all of us are as excited and hoping that the other stuff comes out whenever it does. But for anybody that's out there now, um, you know, that's, that's looking for, you know, different types of energy and frequency based technology, there is technology out here now, and there's people like you that are making it available to the public. Um, uh, Marie, what is your, um, what is your website address? And yeah, what I is want your to phone tell number? people to go to the, the, the website. We do have several videos, including that one with, uh, Antoine Priori methodology, um, Therify Cancer. We do have that on our website. So you can do some research on our website. I tried to, I researched and researched and I tried to bring it down to more layman's terms. So I have some written, some information written on it. And we also have some videos on it. So the website is www, obviously, boundlessloveandlighthealing.com. Uh, we are in Hillsborough, New Jersey. And the phone number is nine. Well, you'll find the phone number on the, the, the website. Also, we have a Facebook and a Telegram and um, a Twitter. If you go to you know our Twitter and our Facebook from the website, we actually have a video, a two and a half minute video that shows a dead light bulb that I took, not coincidentally, I'm sure not coincidentally, within a day or two of us getting this technology, the plasma med bed, our elevator lights went out. And I went into the recycling bin, took the, the, the dead light bulb, fluorescent light bulb out of the garbage. And that light bulb lights up. A dead light bulb, not connected to anything, will light up in between the field of these two bulbs. So people can see that as well as other little testimonies, video testimonies that we have if they want to go to our social media pages. And that's awesome. Thank you. And, and people about, want to purchase, you know, that's then you would go to plasmamedbed.com and just fill out the form there. Please only if you can afford the 29,000. We had people that we had hundreds and hundreds of people responding to the first podcast that we did that were waiting for Nasara Gasara to come out in order to be able to purchase it. We just don't have the manpower to, unless you're ready to purchase now, you also have financing available. So if you want to purchase it for your healing center or even for your home, it's very portable and it's small enough, you could put it right in your home. That's where you would yeah. go, plasmamedbed.com, okay? Yeah, plasmamedbed.com. And, uh, and there is um, I, you, there are some finance options, so, if you, you know, if you don't have the safe close, we'll just say 30 grand and you have an amount that you can put down and, you know, whatever, there are some possible finance options that I know that are there as well. So if you think, hey, maybe I just don't have it all, but I might be able to do it with some additional financing, that is a potential option. So you could go fill that out. And then, uh, like you said, there's uh, there's places around the country that have some of this technology. Um you know, I don't know if it's, I would say maybe a handful, 10 or 12 different places. So if you're not in a position where you can actually afford it, set up a wellness center or put it in your house, whatever, uh, you, you can reach out and we can see about trying to direct you to, and I know we're going to be setting up a, um, off of one of our new websites, we're going to set up a list of all the centers and, you know, you can go and, 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 and sort of test drive the technology and, and go to different places to get access to it. Um, so th thank you very much for that. So Marie, before we wrap it up, um, is there anything you'd like to say to everybody before we end our call today? Now, what comes to my mind is don't wait for the med beds. If you have health issues, you know, there's, there's technology available to help you, right? Just don't wait. We don't know when they're coming. We have no idea when. Yeah. There's no guarantee they are coming, but you know, we believe they are. So that that's yeah. it. But thank you very much for interviewing me and thank you to your audience for listening. And hopefully we've helped some people just by your listening to this. Yeah. Thank you for everything you do, Marie. I love you. And um you stay with me. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, but I'm going to stay on the call with you for just a minute. Okay.
Hi, my name is Marie Scoderi. I'm here at the Boundless Love and Light Wellness Center in Hillsborough, New Jersey. We opened up as an EE system center in September of 2022. We recently, probably about two and a half weeks ago, we brought in the Therify machine. This Therify technology, uh, the inventors are Dan Winter and Paul Harris. This technology is using phase conjugation, plasma light, noble gases, there's noble gases inside these bulbs here, and also the generator underneath, there are Nikola Tesla coils. So the story about how I got this dead light bulb, this is a dead light bulb. We got this about two and a half weeks ago, the technology, the same day the elevator lights went out, they died. So on a Sunday, my partners and I came in, we put the technology, we set it up. I then went to the recycling dumpster, picked this dead light bulb out of the recycling dumpster. No, I did not climb in it. I managed to get it out with a stick. And I'm about to show you the power of this technology. This is, there's an energy field being created in between these two lights. So I'm about to show you the power of this Therify technology. That's amazing. When I showed a video of this lighting up to my 15 year old great nephew, he was like, his jaw just completely dropped. He was so excited, as are we. So this is the power of the energy field that our members are laying in. And um, you know, for anybody who's interested in purchasing this technology, this is the energy that you're offering to your members. That high frequency energy can then communicate with the cells of your body feed the cells of your body and help your body with its own innate knowledge start to heal. So we are incredibly excited to have this technology with us. I'm not, I just demonstrated what happens when we come out of this field. So obviously we want our members laying right in the field of this phase conjugation plasma light technology. I hope that excited everybody and um, thank you for your time.